Ladies and gentlemen, it's not a dilemma. The real color of my hair is white. I know when that comes on, it's black. And it also comes on with different, different colors of ties. That's called the magic of TV. Now, <laughs> in TV, it does not necessarily mean that we're lying and we're creating all edits and whatnot. In TV, TV is a platform that is used to deliver specific truths. Now, if this show was edited every other 30 seconds or every other minute, and you see what you call these cuts, 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 and my hair turns from white to black to yellow, green, and blue, what is happening is there is a creation of what you call a perception that wants you to believe something that may not be real, that is pieced together. Ladies and gentlemen, Tao Pujan Hollywood, it's called Bollywood. It's called in <laughs> Hong Kong, the great mystery and magic of cinema. But in TV, when you talk, do talk programs like this, talk programs, <coughs> the delivery of truth and the discussion is all for your analysis and your critical thinking. That's all that it's trying to imply. There is no real persuasion that's taking place, and there is no biases that we're telling you. But with the presentation of experts that sit together and talk about specific issues, then we begin to understand and become, we become more informed, more educated, and our perceptions are geared towards the right directions. We have Medical Dilemma that's coming up. It's a very new, innovative program with our hosts who are here as guests today. And they tell us more about what we can expect. I have one more question for Father uh, Jerry. Pano kung hindi kayo katoliko and different faiths come into play? How do you judge? How do you generate decisions? How do you measure your how do you say, authority as a Catholic priest? Can it not come into play? Oh, uh, certainly it does. Uh, How do you manage that? For example, uh, if there are patients who belong to different religions. Oh, oh. Muslim. Okay. Muslim. Well, Muslim. Muslim okay. lang. But there are only 5%. Right. Yung mga <laughs> born again, right. born yesterday, born today, and born tomorrow. Marami right. sila dyan, eh, With human priests and gods, right. diba? <laughs> But they're called Christians. But how do you deal with these? Usually, uh, we ask the patient if they need some moral spiritual uh, people who can talk to them. The Catholic hospital would usually uh, welcome them. They, they can come. Tayo sa Katoliko, we allow no, other, uh, right. other religions. Eh. Right. Sa kanila, right. baka hindi tolerable. Pero My tayo, religion. Katoliko, we yes. allow. Because we're always open-minded. Uh, we always, uh, well... Uh, yes, the church is. Yeah, yes. Invoke uh, liberalism also. We're open. Uh, uh, because we're after the truth. Uh, uh, whether... Well, in the entertainment, eh? <laughs> in the uh, entertainment. So, uh, so we usually give them uh, the privilege. Mm -hmm. Even if Christian lang, uh, protestante, let's say that one in yung, uh, the, wa, the one, the one, the patient thing, ano, uh, pred, the pwedeng blood transfusion. Oh, oh, oh Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, yeah, Jehovah's Witness. We ask, the, uh, the, uh, we would usually ask the, uh, the, the uh, families, would you like to ask your pastor mm. so that they can talk to you. Mm -hmm. well, we, we would you so it, you, you respect, but if you were having to make those decisions, you would still, you won't take it against the patient, you will not force yourself into the patient. Yes, yes. Because what you feel and say based on your discipline, on your expertise and your faith, has to stay within that realm, in the way the outside, you know? I, no, it, except when we are unable, for example, to ask the patient, let's say he, he is unconscious. I, uh, and, uh, you have to make the decisions. Right, right. Or the next of kin. The next of kin. Against his, his uh, religion, if there is no next of kin, etc. And because it's emergency. Let's oh, say he made an accident. He you needs blood lad. transfusion. Do it. Do the surgery. Mm, no choice, can no, no choice. choice. Rather than see him die. Uh, pero pag nabuhay, sigawang ka, kasuhin ka. Right. We are going to face them in court. What do you want? To see your uh, child die? How or? does that happen? So they go to court. As lawyers, paano yun? Talo siya. Father, ta talo ang bioethicist. Ah. Talo ang me medical expertise. Kasi dinala kayo sa court eh. At maliwanag, whatever it says in his license, di ba minsan sinusulat sa kung saan saan ID yan, no resuscitation or no whatever. No blood other than mine. Anong gagawin mo? Siyang ba kalabanin mo? Okay, for me it depends on the suit, the cause of action that is brought. If it was a negligent suit, then uh, the patient will lose the case. However, 
if you bring up the constitutionality, for example, of the freedom of religion, then maybe the practice of what the doctor performed on the patient. Uh, cause of suit. Yeah, it depends on the... So, kung may hinabogado mo, talo ka. Pero kung marunong abogado mo, panalo ka. <laughs> oh my God, it's also left and right! <laughs> Right. Isn't there? Isn't this world black or white? Why are there gray areas? Black or white lang dapat. Right. It sounds again like this government. Dapat uh -huh. black or white. Right. In St. Clair, uh, Doctora, uh -huh. this discipline of putting your board together has been in practice for many years now. It's not, or for that matter, other hospitals. Matagal na pala ginagawa ito sa mga hospital, ah, yes. yung ginagawa niyo medical uh -oh. dilemma. But uh, it was only recently, in the past few years, that the DOH de demanded that there should be an ethics committee. Before, it was informal, you know, uh -oh. something like that, to help the doctor who is in a dilemma likewise, and even the, the patients, you know. Sometimes the patient doesn't want blood, but then when he becomes unconscious, it's now the next of kin who says, no, you give the blood, kami bahala, even though they're all Jehovah's Witnesses, for example. Ah, Ms. Kijo, yeah. pwede niyo sundan yun. For oh, example, the Jews, they, they believe in circumcision mm -hmm. and the Arabs don't, di ba? Okay. Tayo yeah. naman, in our culture, heritage, we believe in circumcision. Yeah. It's cleaner. Mm -hmm. And yet, mm -hmm. ayo nila. Who is to be believed and who is not? So it depends again on the patient. Right. Yeah, the patient. And right. yet, if you go against the patient, the patient is, in the end, has the most power and authority. Yeah. Provided he's alive, he stays alive. <laughs> because, <laughs> if, because if he dies, the next of kin takes over. Uh, Why one did the Saf 44 say, the president killed us? Patay na kasi sila. I didn't realize, ganun pala nangyari yun. So this practice pala, how long now has this been going on? Oh, many, many years. Uh, uh, a decade at least, because it's the first time. Oh, yes, time. definitely. If it's definitely. been a decade, why is it in media, hindi na pick up tono? Kasi it's such a sensitive board that is not there to generate money for the hospital. Right. If anything, it is contrary to the hospital and to the administrator because it's like an audit. It can be a, a current right. audit or a past audit. And yet, mm -hmm. it's not being picked up by the media. Because, and if media is looking for stories, which most of them are, because I know how media works, especially mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the current events, uh, news patrols and whatnot, they should, you could pick up a lot of content in a hospital. In mga, Mga nangyayaring ganito. Like that Jennifer Laude case. His name's Jeffrey. It's right. got to be because I don't know how a guy's name became girl. But then again, in this country, we don't know because yeah. there are many, you know, never mind the names of certain. Because there are some guys whose names are girls and girls right. are not. Diba, in this country. But that's okay. Diba, freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech, whatever. But how did that become legal? That's a medical legal case, right? Uh, a Laude murder case. It went on your lap. But then the medical legal, the uh, med medical experts were brought in as resource people, resource people. And then you have the ethics side of it all. Of course, there's media who insist Jennifer ang pangalan niya. So there's brainwashing ongoing. But in reality, lalaki naman yan, di ba? Mm -hmm. He didn't Legally. disclose. He didn't disclose he was gay. Mm -hmm. The Marine, who's a war-killing machine, who's licensed <laughs> to kill. No, but that's what they are, di ba? The, the Marines, the America, I mean, these guys are not 6'5 and fed milk and bread to get big. They're taught to kill. Mm -hmm. And something like that happens, not that I'm siding with whoever, but hindi nagpakilala yung bakla, bakla ako eh. <laughs> na, 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 na freak out yung Amerikanong, ano, Marino. Lino loko mo ko, gago ka, wak, sa lakas ko, namatay. Uh -huh. Parang ganun, di ba? <laughs> may, may ethics din yan, may, baka of may situation din course. yan eh. Right. Yung mga ganun ang issue nyo kukunin. All right. In fact, uh, we are going to uh, disclose cases without mentioning names. Real cases so that the, the medical dilemma will come out. So doctors will watch this as well. I I'm think so, sure. yes. Everybody. Diba, kailangan panorin ng doktor. <laughs> mga legal, mga, mga abogado, kailangan pakinggan to kasi this is where you have the quirks of the law. Yeah. Mga pare, manonood din dito. Tsaka yung mga spiritual, yung mga... Yeah. Well, Filipinos are basically quite spiritual tayo as a Catholic country. You know? So this right. relevance, in the entertainment and show, no? No, no. no. Going, really. going back to the ethics, you know, that's why media has not caught on because it's supposed to be confidential and personal between the family and the doctor, you know. You but you're going to make the show on TV. <laughs> oh, that's, right. that's uh, to, ah, gu but to the guide. Practice. Yeah, the practice. Ah, kaya hindi, hindi, but 
hindi parang police blotter to panoorin oh, kasi oh, oh, dito oh. may convict dito di ba oh, parang yeah. na, ah kaya ayun ng mga hospital ibulgar oh and then they, they should not the story even the is family they wouldn't want it really yeah. oh, oh. Not for What sale, an interesting! Yes. Who thought of this show, this concept? This is crazy. It's really innovative. Uh, I think it should really be the doctor who thinks about it first All and foremost. It's, it's, it's our yeah. line. No, 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 no. <laughs> this has been it's our there for a number of advocacy. years. <laughs> But no one has ever brought it up. No one's ever talked about it. It is the first time. I'm sorry. I must be ignorant. Uh, And I, I grew up in a hospital. My uh, grandfather. We owned the hospital. Uh, In the old days, we were, uh, I, I remember that was during World War II. I guess he was just too busy trying to cure everybody. There was no time for standards and ethics. Or maybe, right. or maybe right. doctors always practice this, but the burden of having all the disciplines, the doctor had to bear himself or herself. No? That's why days. we're very grateful for, especially you, uh, Harry, for having... What did I do? I have a conflict issue. For having given us the opportunity, you know, this is a really, it should really be in, uh, public already. Oh, I think the public is ready for that. Ng yes. ba may okay. I suggest a patient that really needs curing and a lot of discipline, expertise and discipline, to go behind to help, to help them, the president and his cabinet. <laughs> Can I present them to you? Because they seem... Medical. It might be illegal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 but oh, oh, well, there you are. The cabinet, they all need help. The president needs help. If, if GNN can present this show to them, you know, maybe you could help us understand why, what he does, and what he is. But joking aside, um, we have to end the show. We have a couple of minutes left. So let's start with um, Attorney um, Sugitan. Attorney Sarah, your parting words to our viewers about the show. Yes, I'd like to invite everyone to watch uh, the show. It's airing on Easter Sunday right here on GNN. Father? Well, uh, I invite you to watch for your intellectual entertainment. You are going to enjoy it. Can they intellectual entertainment? <laughs> uh, That's correct. Dr. Tess? <laughs> well, I want to thank you, Harry, again for giving us this opportunity to air this. Uh, at least people will know that there is such a show. And I guarantee that people really enjoy listening to this. Ladies and gentlemen, the show is at 6 o'clock every Sunday right here on GNN and the replay is going to be at 11 o'clock the following day. That's in the morning. Now, you can also catch this at the YouTube, my channel. It will be Medical Dilemma, one word. Uh, that's at the YouTube. You don't have to put .com, .net. Just Medical Dilemma at, at YouTube and you'll catch the first of most and all the shows at, as it comes on. At your time, demand time. Now, the nice thing about smartphones today and whatnot, you can watch it at your time, anytime, anywhere. Watch the show. I promote it. GNN promotes it. Alam nyo, ang tawag po dyan, critical thinking. Ang tawag po nyan, tinuturuan tayo. Do you know that if you stop the process of education today and with yourself, it's the end of the world. It is the end of your world. Life is all about information and education. That's how we go forward. Critical thinking is not critical, meaning oneself, but the ability to understand the whole, understanding the bigger pictures that you and I can make the right decisions. Let us be more intelligent. It takes work. Sitting back and having your teacher on in your beer, us watching this, is not helping you anymore. Think. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Doktora. Very good. Very good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. are what you watch.